Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer, and I have been since 1994. Now, on the show, we're going to take a look at six different people. We look at their faces, I look at their ears, and I tell you what would be good possibilities of piercings, and ultimately what I think would look best. Now, the first person we have to look at today is Andra, and she is from Romania. So, let's take a look at Andra and see what we would decorate on her. Now, right away, we're seeing glasses. Um, which means a couple of possibilities would be out, like the bridge and possibly the high nostrils. Might be able to get away with a bridge if the glasses are normally a little bit lower like that, but generally they do get in the way. Now, I would suggest nostril piercings. I can totally see a few nostril piercings on here. That would look really, really nice. I could also see a septum piercing. As you can see, a nice little ring right around there would be nice. I could see a Medusa piercing. I could also see a vertical labret, just like so. Now, as far as other piercings go, I could definitely see something with the other eyebrow. The way this eyebrow has been kind of decorated, if we go over here and kind of balance things out with that, I think that works really, really well. Now, as far as my ultimate picks here, what I would probably go with, the Medusa, a nostril, and an eyebrow. Now, let's take a look at Andrew's ear. Now, I don't see any piercings here whatsoever, so let's start decorating. Now, first thing I like here is going to be the conch. You can see how the conch has a nice bulbous area here, and if we do the piercing and maybe even wear the ring around there once it's all the way healed up. Um, we could also do something like simple earlobe piercing. If your earlobe piercing is always fun to do, it gives you a lot of fun options for jewelry. I could also see a tragus piercing. I could also see a rook piercing. See, there's a nice, good, solid ridge there for the rook to happen. Um, helixes. You can see from this little ridge right up in here, all the way down would be suitable for a lot of fun piercings. But the area right here, as you can see, gets kind of tight, so you can't do too big of a gem. But I could definitely see a couple piercings just kind of shooting up the ear just like that. Um, I kind of wish we could do an industrial across here, but it looks like this area in the middle stands out a little bit too much. So I would probably suggest maybe an orbital, you know, piercing side to side like that and wearing the ring through the two. So you'd have the one part on the front and on the back, the invisible part, hence the dotted lines is like so. That'd be super cool. And the bead generally goes on the front like that. I could also see a low forward helix. When I say low forward helix, you see where the rook kind of meets the forward helix here? I mean below the rook. So have been able to have a nice big gem right down there. And for my final picks, we're going to go with an orbital at the top of the ear, a conch, a tragus, and a simple earlobe. And the next person we get to look at today is Sile. Now, Sile doesn't have any visible piercings. Um, She's talking about getting the septum piercing, which I highly encourage. I think you have a great nose for the septum piercing. And once that's healed up, what would we do for adding more? I would say a gestrum. If you have the septum piercing up here, adding the gestrum right there down below, really, really cool look. Now we could also do a vertical labret if you didn't want to do the gestrum. And of course, we see another eyebrow decoration up here, so we could balance things out with a piercing on the other side of the eyebrow, just like that. Um, as far as other piercings here go, high nostrils. Uh, high nostrils would look really, really nice. And I could also see some angel bites. A little bit higher up, just like so. Um, a lot of fun options here. And for my final picks, I believe you were right. A septum piercing would be amazing. The high nostrils, an eyebrow, and the vertical labrette. All right, now let's take a look at Sile's ear. Now, Sile has three lobe piercings already and no other visible piercings, but there's a lot of fun options here. Like instantly, I'm seeing the rook. I could totally see a rook piercing right up in there. 
I could also see a snug piercing. Plenty of room for a snug there. It's a rough heel, but it's a cool look. I could also see an anti-tragus piercing. It looks like we'd be able to go from there across in this direction just like that. It'd be a little deeper on the inside, but that just kind of shows the angle there. And I could also see an industrial piercing. Perfect setup for the industrial, just like so. The angle of the piercing doesn't show it off right now, but another fun option here would be the hidden rook because we can do that piercing right up there underneath the rook angling up and you can see how the jewelry would hang down and you know you're gonna have that bar with some chains hanging down off there. It's a pretty cool fun thing. Um, And the last option here I would like to offer would be the anti-helix. You can see how this anti-helix is super thick right here, but right in here, right where the flat, possibly one more up top would look really, really cool. And now for my final picks, I'm going to go with the snug and the industrial. Two rough healers, but they look so cool. And now up next, we have Sully from the UK. Sully's been watching the channel for a couple months, recently got his septum pierced, and just a little before that was the earlobe. So you're on the way. I love that. Now looking for more suggestions, um, first thing I'm going to say, bridge. If you have that right anatomy, oh, I love bridges, and I could totally see a bridge on you. Now another fun thing I could see here would be an eyebrow piercing. Not fully all the way out, just a little bit in and actually you know even matching on both sides just like that now as far as other piercings go a labrette just a simple labrette i can see that just a couple millimeters below the lip line there maybe even an ashley i could also see an ashley just kind of lower part of the lip right in there i could also see simple nostril piercings um, what I mean by that is just like some uh, titanium or steel beads, similar to the way you have it looked now, and even putting hoops in there nice and snug once it's all healed up. Well, let me see. As far as other piercings go, generally I'm not a big fan of dermal anchors, but I could totally see one right up here, right below your eye. And if you did that, you could even balance it out with the side lip piercing there. I do like that look. And for my final picks, I'm going to have to say the bridge piercing and the double eyebrows. All right, and moving on to Sully's ear, we're seeing that single earlobe piercing. Uh, looks like it's healing up really good. Now, as far as adding more piercings, you've got a great ear for piercing here. I would say the tragus piercing would be a good option for you. The anti-tragus, you can see kind of going that way and angling out up in there. I could also see a rook piercing. You could do a double forward helix. Definitely a conch. I almost see light coming through there. It looks to be nice and thin, so it'd be an easy, easy heal for you too. And of course, we could always do a doth piercing as well. You know, having the ring right inside there. You know, now that I see the ring, there's another fun option here would be another orbital. Um, as you can see, these two right here to here are fairly parallel, and you might be able to wear a ring all the way through there like that once. It's it's a really cool look. It's really rare, but um, pretty awesome. But don't ever plan on wearing earphones ever again on this one. And now for my final picks, I'm going to say the conch, the rook, and the tragus. And the next person on the list is going to be Nicole. Now, Nicole has a single nostril piercing, and that's all I can really see. I love that look, but I can see a little bit more here. Now, first thing I'm going to say is going to be an Ashley. I'm not sure why I'm immediately drawn here, but I think a nice Ashley piercing would really, really work well. And then if you had the Ashley and the single nostril, we could do something like either a normal eyebrow piercing up here, or the horizontal. I'm kind of leaning towards the horizontal eyebrow piercing. Those three all work together really, really well. 
Now also, we could match up the other nostril piercing, so one on each side if you want to go with the symmetry thing. There is plenty of room for a bridge piercing. I think you guys know how much I love bridge piercings. And then also a septum. If we want to kind of go with the trifecta where it's just, you know, the other nostril and a nice tight ring around the septum. I could also see a Medusa piercing, especially if we're doing the balanced nostril look that way. And the last suggestion I would have would be a vertical librette. As you can see, nice centerpiece just like that. And for my final picks on Nicole, I'm going to say the Medusa and definitely match up that other nostril piercing. And now let's move on to her ear. Now I can see that there's three lobe piercings. Now they seem a little low. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. It's a nice look. But if we were to continue on with this, kind of bringing these dots up here, I think that would be a really cool look. Um, traditionally, you know, the, the lobe piercings are gonna be a little higher, more towards the center of the ear, but this also gives us room to do the stacking if we wanted to, because we could add that extra one right up in there and kind of creates almost like an anchor type look. Really, really fun thing to do. Um, as far as other piercings go, We could add a rook piercing. You see there's plenty of room for a rook, possibly two, something I haven't suggested in a while, but if there's room, double rooks are so cool. Then there's also plenty of room for a vertical industrial here. Man, this episode is all about the industrials. You can see how we'd put the bead up top here. The bar would shoot down, going right through the conch. I messed that up. Now you can also see the vertical industrial here where the bead would rest right on the top of the ear here and back from the conch up is where you're gonna see the bar. And then there would be like an invisible bead on the back of the ear behind the earlobe. So you just see that bar and that bead on top. Really cool look. But the reason we can do this is because this fold of the ear up top does lean a little bit more forward. Now because it leans forward, that also means the possibility of doing maybe a cat flap piercing one, two, or even three in the front here where they're more forward-facing helixes. Um, as far as other piercings, plenty of room for the doth piercing. The tragus looks a little small, but if we did a little gem in there, that might be kind of cute. And of course, the conch piercing. I think everybody loves conch piercings. I know I do. And for my final picks on Nicole's ear, I would love to do the double rook and that stacked lobe. And up next, all the way from the Philippines, we have Johanna. Now, Johanna has a single nostril piercing and no other visible ones that I can tell. Now, I do wanna mention uh, that there is a beauty mark right off to the side of her nose, which is a really fun feature when you're trying to balance piercings out. As you can see, we have the nose ring on the other side, and with that beauty mark on the other, it works really, really well, so well done there. Now, where I would go from here would possibly be lips. We could do definitely a gestrum piercing, the vertical upper lip, or the possible vertical lower lip. Both of those would look really, really good. But honestly, I see more below the lip. So possibly like snake bites, just like so. Maybe even like something in between dolphin bites and snake bites. I'm not, whatever, you could call it either or, and I think you can get away with that. But in just a little tiny bit like that would look really, really nice. Now, other piercings, I could also see Dahlia piercings right on the corner of the mouth up here adding just a little bit of hint of a smile on there. And then also high nostril piercings. God, I love high nostril piercings. I'm so glad they are popular. As you can see, it accents so much, just adding those little gems right up top. And for my final picks here, I definitely have to go with those dolphin bites slash snake bites, kind of in between. But it looks so good. All right, and now let's take a look at Joanna's ear. Now, Joanna is already golded up, and oh, I love my gold, and it looks fantastic on you. I think as far as adding things, we gotta be careful because you don't wanna take away from what's already going on here. 
Now, I see that we have the three lobe piercings here. I kind of separate it because you have the two middle helixes and we have one up top. Now, to add to this, I would say maybe we could do one more helix piercing up top, heal it with a stud, and then be able to wear that second ring going around, which I think might kind of help complete it there. Now, the other fun option here is the anti-helix. You can't really go below this point because it's going to be getting too thin and there's no room in the back. But if we wanted to add another central piercing, like so, you know, imagine the ring up top like that, and then we can put a larger ornate piece right in the middle there if you wanted to go that route. Now, as far as other piercings go, I can see a tragus piercing and maybe a forward helix up here. But as you can see, the hair kind of does cover that up and it might be kind of tough to see. And for my final pick here, the ear's pretty well decorated. I would just like to add that second ring up top, maybe start with the stud first, and we can finish it off with the tragus piercing. And before we move on to the last person of the day here, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps us out. Now, Alex is the last person we're looking at, and Alex doesn't have any visible facial piercings, so let's start decorating. Uh, first thing I'd want to say, maybe a nostril piercing, even a double nostril piercing. I could definitely see that. And then balancing things out, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, but you could also see maybe some spider bites on the one side down there. Um, if we don't want to do the doubles like that, I could see a septum piercing right in the middle there. I could also see a bridge piercing with the right gems. Super, super cute. Um, I could see an Ashley piercing right in the center of the lip there. I could also see some angel things. See how we kind of get the little corner up there, kind of angle down on each side. Pretty extreme look, but it would look really cool. Maybe an eyebrow piercing if we brought these to the inside a little bit more. Like more vertical like that. There, that's better. And definitely do one on each side if we're going in the center like that. I don't know if I've ever seen inner eyebrows with just a single one, but the double is a really cool one. And the picks I have for Alex is going to be a septum piercing and spider bites. And let's take a look at Alex's ear. Now, Alex has a single lobe piercing on the bottom down there. It looks like it's stretched out to maybe an eight, maybe a six. I'm not sure the exact size, but I like it. And keep on stretching. I could definitely see a larger plug in there. Now, as far as adding more, I love this anti-helix area. It almost kind of creates a little triangle right up in here. And I would love to decorate that. You could definitely see a larger gem right in the middle of the ear there. It's not even quite a flat. It's kind of in its own category. But it looks so cool right there. Now, as far as other piercings, you have a very, very thin uh, rook piercing. So I think a rook would heal up and look really good. You have plenty of room for forward helixes. We could definitely get all three in you there. I can see a tragus piercing, possibly too. So you have to go a little bit lower on the first one, a little bit higher on that second one. A double tragus piercing, rare and super epic. And last suggestion I'm going to have here would be the conch. I think a conch would look real nice. Especially if we worked with this anti-helix. See, if we did a conch here, we could do a larger one right here, and even a normal one right up top, which... Let me try this again. Right there, and then that one kind of balances. It flows. I like it a lot. And now for my final pick here. It's kind of a unique one. We're going to go with the conch, the anti-helix, and another anti-helix known as the flat. And that's what we have for you today. How do you think I did? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, share it with your friends. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.